Hey everyone, it's Heidi, and I wanted to make a video because I was a volunteer this year at the music festival Bonnaroo in Manchester, Tennessee. And I thought that I would share my experience, what I liked, what I didn't like. Through the volunteer program, you have to apply first, and there's a $25 fee. And then uh, after you go through the application, you have to put a $300 deposit down. For each shift, you have to check in and out. After the festival, it might take a while, but you're going to get your deposit back. Getting there, it took seven hours driving. So really, with the cost of gas, the fee, and food, it was only a little over $100 for me total. It might be different for you, but I think that's a pretty good deal. When you first get to Manchester, you have to check in at the high school. I was assigned a time based on my crew, which was 2 to 4 p.m., and I got there at 3 p.m. basically on the dot and there were so many people. I had to stand in line for a good two hours to get checked in and I heard it wasn't always like this because they're switching how they run the volunteers. Once you check in, they give you everything and I will show you right now. The t-shirts this year were pretty cool. They say Bonnaroo 2015 staff and on the back it just says the crew. I also got a bandana that says Bonnaroo 2015. Then I got my name tag in case you forget what time you're working, it'll be right on your name tag. And the only thing about this is it doesn't tell you where to check in because there were actually two check-in spots. This is a little toy of Rufus, who is the Bonnaroo mascot. And that came with a Bonnaroo's cereal box. The back of it is like a coloring page. This is the fountain that is at Bonnaroo every year. They hand out schedule slash maps while you're there. This is what it looks like this year. Here's a cover. These are really helpful. It'll tell you exactly where all the artists are going to be at what time. And there's the cinema tent. There's the comedy tent. There's a lot going on. Another thing you get is your volunteer parking pass that you just put in the windshield of your car. And on the back, they have directions on how to get to the farm from the high school. Maybe the most important part of all of your Bonnaroo goodies is a wristband. So this is a volunteer wristband, so it'll say volunteer. 2015, it has a microchip in here that they scan when you go inside of Centeroo. I didn't have any problems with mine. I was part of the festival crew. You can pick Clean Vibes or the festival crew. And I chose during show festival crew because it was my first year volunteering. I had to work 18 hours during the festival three shifts of six hours. I was assigned to the brewer's tent, a big tent that has all the breweries from across the country, and they come and serve beer um, through ticket sales. And so I was there to help get ice for the breweries. You'd have to do little things like pick up trash or tell people that there's going to be a special event in a tent. Luckily, I was always in the shade or right by the shade. As a volunteer, you're given free showers. Basically, whenever you want to, you can go over and they might have somebody checking wristbands. You just show them your wristband and then you can go in and take a shower. And the showers smell like sulfur. It's basically egg water, as I heard somebody refer to it. It doesn't smell great, but if you're a volunteer, definitely take advantage of the showers. While you're signing up for your crew, you can pick your top three artists that you do not want to miss, and they will try their best to make your schedule around those artists. Kendrick Lamar and Bleachers were the artists that I wanted to see that I didn't get to. Just know as a volunteer, you're not going to be able to see everyone you want to, but you will see a majority if your schedule is okay. People are going to tell you this the whole time you're at Bonnaroo, but drink water because you have to stay hydrated. It's so hot. Lately, they've had this rule where you're only allowed to bring in empty water bottles or camelbacks. They have water fountains there, but over the week, they start to get more and more sulfur in them because of the filters running out. Each day, I would bring in two empty water bottles, and so then... If you're out of one, then you have another one. When you want to leave the festival, a lot of people leave right after the headliner on Sunday night. Um, just know it's going to be a lot of traffic. I left at 7 a.m., I think, on Monday morning. I wanted to sleep. I got about five and a half hours of sleep, I think, and then I left on Monday morning. Barely any traffic getting out of Bonnaroo, but I had to drive through Nashville, and when I got there, it was rush hour. It's not for everyone. You know, if you don't like camping out, I think if you're up for the challenge and you're passionate about the music and you have a good attitude, then I think you should go. It's going to be hot and sweaty and disgusting for everyone. You just got to be really positive about it. You got to say, I'm doing this for the musical acts and for the good times and the memories. So that was my experience volunteering for Bonnaroo. 
If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer them as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you next week. Bye!